guys for this look I'm gonna use a gel eyeliner and smoke it out by placing a little bit of eyeshadow on top and that's pretty much it for the eyes it's super easy and it's one of my go-to looks but to add a little bit more spice to this look I'm going to be using a green so I'm using L'Oreal's hip cream liner in teal which for me is actually a little bit more green than it is teal taking an angled liner brush and applying that to my top lash line now I will forewarn you I'm working a little bit harder than you might would because I'm working with an older product once I opened it up and started filming I was like wow this is a little dried out but with working with gel liners it's normally nice because they're creamy you can smudge them out um, without hardly any effort and um, it shouldn't give you too much trouble but hey we work with what we got so after I'm you know laying down that product going from the inner corner to the outer corner I'm making a little bit of a V and then kind of smudging the color upwards it doesn't have to be really neat um, you know kind of the more messy it is kind of adds to the look I'm also going to apply a little bit to my waterline my lower waterline and my lower lash line just so that when I apply my eyeshadow down there and I have something to stick to Another option you can do is to tight line your upper lash line, completely optional, but it does add a little definition to your lash line. Make sure that none of the skin is kind of peeking through, but I know it's not a fan favorite, so if you can't do this, don't worry about it. And now we've got our liner placed down. And if you have any little spots that you need to skip, just kind of go back through and add some more, and um, you should be good. Now taking the next product, which is going to be a green eyeshadow and a pencil brush, we're going to just add the color by laying it on top of the gel liner. Now this is where the look kind of starts coming together. It might look a little sloppy at first, but kind of the messiness is what looks nice about this look. Sounds silly, but it's true. So just going from the outer corner all the way to the inner corner, making sure that most of your product is going to be on the outer corner of your eye. Um, just going back and forth, making sure that no skin is peeking through. And then just, if you want to shape to the outer V like I do, um, you know, go ahead and just make sure you're maintaining that look. I also like to go a little bit into my crease, not a whole lot, almost just like whatever's left on my brush goes into my crease because it looks like it's nice and faded, but it also gives a little bit of definition to your eyes. You know, you don't want that, you know, your crease here to be completely blank. So I'm just really working the product in and kind of smoking it out. It doesn't take hardly but just a few minutes to do this type of look. Then taking a flat shader brush, go back with that same green color and connect the outer corner of my eye down to my lower lash line so it's one kind of seamless look. And then I just kind of, you know, rub it back and forth, make sure the color is really worked in under the lower lash line. Most times I like to leave the inner corner free of color, but in this particular look I actually went all the way around because I just feel like it gave the eyes kind of like a nice little sexy look to them. Beware though, it can kind of make your eyes look smaller, but it'll also make them kind of shine a little bit too. Now taking a domed crease brush, I'm just kind of going back through and making sure that everything's nicely blended and that I kind of work the outer corners to make it have that nice little kind of flick to it. And that's pretty much it. You're going to curl your lashes, apply your favorite mascara, and you're pretty much done with the look. Um, I'm using one by one mascara here, and then for my lower lashes, you guessed it, my favorite mascara, the Clinique Bottom Lash. It's absolutely beautiful and works perfect for this. Then I'm going to bronze up my face just a little bit by taking Rimmel's um, bronzer and sunlight, adding it to my forehead area just to give myself a little bit of color because if you're going to go for a slightly smoky look, even if it's dramatic or not, you don't want your face to look flat because it can definitely take the attention. You kind of want to balance your face out. So I'm just kind of warming up my skin a little bit and placing bronzer um, that's matte pretty much anywhere the sun would naturally hit it, which is going to be my forehead, my temples. Um, along my cheekbones, underneath my um, jawline, down my neck maybe just a little bit. It's just kind of give your face a little bit more oomph and hey, who doesn't want a little bit more oomph in their face, right? Then I'm going to take a small shader brush and again this you know piece is completely optional but I like to contour my nose just a little bit because I feel like when I add my foundation in, especially if I got a dramatic eye, but pretty much any time, I feel like my nose kind of gets lost and um, you don't see it as a feature. So I like to just go back through and define it just a little bit. Now on to cheeks. When I use green um, kind of eye color, I love, love, love using a peach blush but I want a sheer wash of it. I definitely don't want it to compete with the eyes. So I'm using a stippling brush and applying it just to the tops of my cheekbones. Using a stippling brush is just basically going to give you a sheer wash of color as opposed to a really strong blush. So just a little bit on the cheekbones and you're done. 
Now um, I'm going to go with a nude lip and this is a great color if you're fair skinned and apply that and you're done. That's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed one of my favorite makeup looks. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and have an awesome, awesome day. Thanks so much. Bye. Thank you.